Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Open Your Reality. Today, I want to talk with you about the little-known story of a very powerful ascended master from Africa known as Black Jesus. His story takes place in the 1960s, during a time of mass turmoil and upheaval in the world. Those who follow my channel know I made two videos on Ascended Masters last year. They were popular videos and I talked mostly about white, Asian, and Indian Ascended Masters. But a number of black viewers asked why I never mentioned any black Ascended Masters. There have been black Ascended Masters, but they are not as known as the other races. So when I recently came across the story of Black Jesus in David Wilcox's awesome book, the Ascension Mysteries, revealing the cosmic battle between good and evil, I thought it would be the perfect little story to talk about for everyone and especially the black viewers out there. Now honestly, I think we all get way too hung up on race. Skin tone and race are just the outside containers that are the temporary holding ground for the soul or free will awareness unit for those Tom Campbell fans playing out in this simulation. Nevertheless, this is a truly fascinating story and deserves more attention. I scoured the internet looking for more evidence of this black Jesus from the 1960s and couldn't find anything. Maybe that's because it was highly classified information up until an insider named Jacob revealed the story to Wilcock who frequently sought out people with classified knowledge to learn the truth of this world. In an interview with Coast to Coast that aired some years ago, Wilcox said that he was risking his life to reveal the Black Jesus story in his book, but decided the information was too important to hold back. I could paraphrase the story, but the way Wilcox told it in his book was just perfect. So I'm going to read it verbatim to you. It's not that long. Regarding the story, there's three things you should know. One, Jacob is the insider Wilcox received the story from. Two. Talking out of school means telling secrets that should not be told. And three, the Cabal is a secret group of people that control the world. They're also known as the Illuminati, the Deep State, and the Committee of 300. Before I begin, please give the video a like if you are enjoying it so far, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you. Alright, here's the story directly from Ascension Mysteries. One of the most surprising stories Jacob ever told me concerned a man they called Black Jesus. He said this was highly classified and he was definitely talking out of school to tell me about it all. Apparently, in the 1960s, a man appeared in Africa who had full ascended abilities. He could read people's minds, materialize objects out of thin air, communicate telepathically, levitate himself, and teleport his body from one location to another. He was a spiritual teacher who emphasized love, peace, service to others, and forgiveness as the common core that unified all the great religions. The Cabal does not want anyone to develop these abilities, and if they find out that someone has them, they will hunt those people down and terminate them with prejudice. The Cabal made several attempts to take this man out. He consistently regenerated his body after each attack, no matter how lethal it seemed to be. Finally, the man was told that they had given up. He was far too powerful. There was nothing they could do to stop him, and they were going to surrender. They invited him to a major world summit and told him they would reveal him to all of humanity so he could share his message. He was brought on board a military transport aircraft once airborne, he was shot repeatedly. His body was divided into many different sections, each of which was stored in a super high-tech energy shielded container. Jet aircraft rushed up to the plane in sequence and scrambled the containers all over the earth, as far apart as possible. The contents were then thoroughly and completely destroyed. It was hoped that this would prevent him from being able to regenerate himself. After this was done, the man materialized directly into the offices of the people who had ordered his termination. There were no visible signs of damage to his body. He said, Your desire to prevent me from living on Earth is so strong that I am forced to honor it for now. 
I will be leaving you shortly. However, in the future, many more people will develop abilities just like me. Once that happens, you will no longer be able to stop us from making this world a peaceful place for everyone. And that's the entire story. Like I said, I couldn't find any more information about this Black Jesus character on the internet, perhaps because there are so many other references to the keywords Black Jesus. But if anyone knows of more information about this man, please let me know in the comment section. A couple of points about this story. Certainly, if it is true, and I believe it probably was, then it proves a few important points. One is that even good must concede to darkness and allow universal free will to be carried out. This individual had extraordinary powers and could probably have created a huge following and exposed the cabal, but instead he chose, probably by universal decree, to go away. The second big takeaway is when Black Jesus said many more people like him will develop similar powers. This is akin to what the original Jesus said when he spoke the words, Truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and he will do even greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I do believe that when the time is right, the Ascended Masters will materialize on Earth again and usher in the New Age. This could be what the Law of One refers to as the Harvest, or the moving up to fourth density. Of interest, Wilcox said that one insider told him that 2012 was a date given by benevolent ETs somewhere in the 1950s of when full disclosure of their presence would happen. But that date has been moved back and Corey Good, another insider, said it could take place between now and the year 2023. Perhaps disclosure and ascension go hand in hand. Either way, I love the Black Jesus story, though it does show that a mere evil few can control the entire destiny of the world, at least for a time. Because I believe ultimately, and maybe this decade, full disclosure and ascension will come. Wilcox said that with full disclosure, our world will transform almost overnight as new technologies will emerge that change everything. And I'm talking free energy devices, teleportation, materializing food, and deep space travel, just to name a few. In the end, I think we still need to collectively raise our level of awareness before Black Jesus, Babaji, or Saint Germain make themselves seen again. Such ascended masters exist in spirit, waiting for the right time to materialize their bodies. Or, if they are already in material form, they are living in remote regions, either isolated or with a few loyal disciples, completely out of the eyes of the public. My final takeaway is that we have to get off our knees and stop waiting for a savior and realize that we are collectively the true power on Earth. The evolution of consciousness is a collective effort, but one in which we have a unique and individual stake, every one of us. Moving forward, it is incumbent upon us all to further our inner evolution towards internal peace and harmony, whereby we can create the conditions within collective consciousness for many of us to develop abilities like the Black Jesus in the story. And this will ultimately ensure that this world becomes a peaceful place for everyone. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching until the end. Check out a couple of my other videos right here, and I'll see everyone in the next video.